So Cam, what did you get up to when you wake up? Yeah, I watched a bit of footy, which was good. I thought, um, yeah, the two good, two good AFL games to watch. Um, watched the girls play Saturday at home. Um, I thought Brisbane were really impressive um, against Melbourne, and um, Collingwood I thought were great against Frio, which um, gives me some confidence that we've beaten them and um, yeah, our games um, going well at the same time. Did you get up to Brisbane for that game? No, nah, the coaches went along, and I was messaging Sean Grigg um, at half time and. He was kind of showing me, uh, telling me what um, he was seeing. It's a little bit difficult to see exactly what's happening on the telecast, just with the uh, the broadcast view. But um, he picked up some things, and I think uh, yeah, we'll work on those this week. You won't want to tell us what those secrets were, but any indication of what he was seeing? Um, probably just stoppage setups. I mean, as a midfield, um, that's probably where the game is won and lost. At least as a midfielder, I think that. Um, so it was just a few little things around that, and. And they've been really good all year. Um, they've got some impressive midfielders, so I think that'll be a good battle. Do you reckon this is your best chance to win one with this side? Uh, oh, it's, it's hard to say. I think there's so many intricacies of, of a team and um, a bit of luck uh, definitely plays a part as well. But um, I think we're in a really good spot to win it this year for sure. What's different about this year that makes you maybe feel even more confident? Um, again, hard to say. Different personnel to start. Um, every year is different. I mean, we got ourselves in a great position, um, prelim final, uh, we're where we want to be, um, looking forward to this week and uh, we think Brisbane are a quality team but uh, we're going to go in really confident. Yeah, just the one game in 28 days, just like that. So how much of a concern is it and how do, you, how do you get around that? Yeah, I think that's been a little bit up for discussion, um, I mean, yeah, you're, you're pretty happy to win week one but I guess that um, kind of comes out of it, um, that side of it. Uh, our training's been um, really thorough, really solid, really organised, and I think we're in a really good spot. Um, that week after finals was probably a good one uh, to refresh a few sore bodies at that time for us, and um, it's, it's not an issue, at least um, not from my point of view. Do you think that there's enough of a reward for finishing on top of the ladder? Uh, hard to say. I think Scotty um, had some thoughts about that after the season, but. Um, Playing um, week one of the finals against a good opposition is is good enough for me. And playing alongside your brother this year, I mean, it's one game at a time. But how special would it be to win a flag with him? Yeah, very special. I mean, um, I love playing with Zach. I love playing with a lot of my teammates. So uh, I think we've got a really united group and, and a group that wants to achieve success together. So I'm um, looking forward to getting on with the job and. Um, seeing how far we can take it. Zach says he's really feeling really confident in his body uh, this this year. How have you seen his development? Yeah, I think he, he deserves to be really confident. Um, he's really uh, developed um, his all-round game this year. Um, I thought he was kind of peaking at the end of the season. I think that really showed week one of the finals. I thought he was outstanding along with um, some of our other young players. So um, a lot of our players have, have a lot of reason to go in with um, excitement and um, yeah, ready to put on a show. Do you chat much to each other before a game? Um, he doesn't chat to me. I do a lot of chatting to him and I, I feel like I'm telling him um, exactly what I think he should do, whether he takes it on board or not is a different story. But um, I think we've got a, um, an age demographic um, at our club where we've got a lot of experience and um, uh, we can really, uh, I guess, lead the way for the younger players. For a side that's been together for so long and, and Scotty's been around for so long, how have you kept the message? this year, not only for the season, but then heading into a preliminary final where you've been there before and not been able to get it done, done previously. Uh, yeah, I couldn't speak um, more highly of Scotty. I think um, he's always uh, develop developing himself as a coach and as a person. Um, I think that's shown this year. We've, we've had um, some new coaches come on board. Um, James Kelly, um, uh, Sean Griggs stepped into the full-time midfield role. Um, and those guys have, have really shown us the way this year. And I think it's definitely a team effort um, in the coaching group as well. But Scotty does a great job of leading that. Skipper announced the start of some pretty special news last night, expecting a baby. Just how exciting is that for the group? A lot of Scotty. Yeah, oh, I think so. Yeah, well, definitely whenever there's some um, exciting news um, around, the boys uh, do like to get around each other. Um, Tom Atkins had some exciting news as well. I won't go into that. I'm not sure how public that is. but. Um, Everyone was pumped for him as well. That'll end up coming out eventually. But uh, yeah, we were we were pretty pumped um, for both those guys on the weekend. Lockie Neal continues to have a huge influence. Do you just accept that he's going to have a big game, or do you, can you seriously um, uh, expect to quell his influence? 
Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a tough one. I think um, you don't just want to um, let someone like that just do their thing no matter what and, and just think um, he's going to be good and, and we're just going to let him be good um, because that's um, not the team that we are and the way we want to play. But um, he is going to be influential at times and I think it's just about um, stopping how influential he can be and um, yeah, just being a really um, solid midfielder up against him. I think Mark O'Connor will come in. I'm actually not too sure. I think Mark's done a, a great job of that in the past, um, but he hasn't uh, been around the midfield as much um, later in the year. So uh, I, I can't answer your question. But I think we've got a couple of options um, up our sleeve. Do you think stoppages is where the game will be won and lost? Yeah, I think so. And, and guys like Neil are, are so good at, at winning their contested ball and, and getting onto loose balls. I thought uh, Brisbane were really good in the contest. Uh, particularly in the second half and, and they set themselves up for some good looks going forward. So if we can stop that and take it forward ourselves, I think, yeah, that'll be a, a really good chance for us to get on top. You're fit firing right to go, Yeah, feeling good. Body's feeling good. Had a little knock on the shoulder, but um, got through the first week of finals uh, really well. So it's been a month, uh, about a month since that incident and, and I'm feeling, yeah, really, really good to go. There were a few murmurs in the crowd when you went off of that shoulder around 23. Were you ever worried at all? It could be anything serious? Um, I mean, it wasn't ideal uh, around 23. In a, in a year that I've got through um, pretty much unscathed, um, it, was, it was bad timing, but uh, I, I guess that's footy. You, you, you can't um, go out and, and wrap yourself in cotton wool, so, um, but, but I'm feeling really, really good to go. Is it something you expect to have to have a clean up or anything after this season, or is it going to be fine? Most of I'm not too sure. I've, I've kind of put any of that kind of talk um, in the background. I, I'm kind of just focused on the short term. and. And the short term is getting the shoulder right and, and, and feeling great match day.